Ruth Ozeki's 2013 book, A Tale for the Time Being, is a metafictional story. Ruth is a writer who lives on a small island in Canada. One day, she finds a lunchbox on the beach. She is surprised to find an old watch that needs to be wound up, some letters in Japanese, and a diary in English by a 15-year-old girl from Tokyo named Nao. As Ruth gets more interested in Nao's story, the book goes back and forth between Nao's diary and Ruth's story. Nao starts her diary by saying that both she and the person reading it are time beings, or creatures that change over time. Nao used to live in California, but when her father, Haruki, lost his job, they moved back to Japan. She feels like she doesn't belong in Japan, and her classmates pick on her a lot because they think she is foreign. Haruki can't find work in Japan, so he and his family have to live in a small, broken-down apartment. He thinks he's a failure, so he tries to kill himself. He doesn't succeed, but the attempt makes Nao worry all the time. She is so stressed out by her problems that she says she will die after she writes down the story of her Buddhist nun great-grandmother, Jiko. Most of the people now knows are wasting their lives, but Jiko makes the most of every moment. Ruth is worried about Nao, who has made it sound like she will kill herself as she reads. Ruth quickly turns to the last page of the diary and feels better when she sees that Nao has written on every page. Oliver, Ruth's husband, thinks that the lunchbox might have drifted to their island from Japan after the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Ruth is also worried about this, so she starts looking for Nao or her family on the internet to see if they are among the dead or have been forced to move, but she doesn't find anything. Soon after this, a strange bird shows up in front of Ruth's house. Oliver thinks it's strange that the bird has come from Japan to their island. He thinks it may have come on the same current as the lunchbox. Now writes in her diary that she stayed at Jiko's temple during the summer. After hearing about Now's problems, Jiko teaches her Zazen meditation. She says it will be Nao's superpower and help her be mindful. As Nao gets better at it, she feels stronger and calmer. Jiko tells Nao that she became a nun after her son, Haruki No. 1, was killed in World War II. Before Nao leaves Jiko's temple at the end of the summer, Jiko gives her Haruki No. 1's watch and his correspondence to Jiko when he was a soldier. The letters show how Haruki No. 1 was picked on during training and how he came to terms with the fact that he was going to die as a kamikaze pilot. Now idolizes Haruki No. 1, and Haruki, Now's father, appears to be a huge failure by comparison. Ruth, on the other hand, worries that she is also wasting her life. Ruth has tried and failed to write a memoir for the past 10 years. The story that now tells is a nice break from writing, and Ruth spends a lot of time trying to figure out what's in the lunchbox. Ruth wears Haruki number no. one's watch and reads the letters he wrote to Jiko. But now doesn't say anything about the French book which turns out to be a secret diary where Haruki No. 1 wrote about how he really felt about the war. Haruki didn't want to die, and he told them he was going to fly his plane into the ocean because he didn't want to kill other people. Ruth doesn't know how this booklet got into the lunchbox. Now writes about a terrible case of bullying in which a group of male classmates beat her up and almost took advantage of her. After this event, Now stopped going to school. She thinks that one of the waitresses at the cafe, Babette, is her friend, but all Babette wants to do is set Now up on dates with men who pay for female company. Now is sad and alone, so she agrees to what Babette wants. After Now has a bad experience with a hentai who hurts her, she gets a text message telling her that Jiko is dying. 
now runs home to tell Haruki, but when she gets there, he acts strangely. Now thinks that he will try to kill himself again soon. She decides that telling him about Jiko wouldn't help, so she goes to the temple by herself. When Ruth gets to this part of the diary, she turns the page and is shocked to see that the last few pages are blank. When she first looked at the diary, she saw that all of the pages were filled with writing. She doesn't know what happened. Ruth is very worried that now has also made up her mind to kill herself. Oliver tells her that, since she is a writer, she might need to change now's story. That night, Ruth has a dream that seems very real. She is in a strange place with no shape or time, and then the bird appears and leads her to Haruki. Ruth tells the crow that now is very worried about Haruki and that if he goes through with his plan to kill himself, now plans to do the same. She tells him that now is at the train station and on her way to see Jiko. The crow then takes Ruth to Jiko's temple, and now sees that she is holding Haruki number one's secret French book. She puts it on the family altar next to the picture of Haruki number one. The next morning, Ruth checks Nao's diary and sees that the words are back. Nao writes that Haruki came to the station to find her and that they both went to see Jiko. Before Jiko dies, she paints a Chinese character, or kanji, that means living. Now and Haruki know that this is the last thing Jiko has to say to them. Now finds her uncle's secret French diary at the family altar and learns how much he loved life. Haruki gets upset when he reads that Haruki number one wanted to fly his plane into the ocean and he tells now that he lost his job because he wouldn't sell his software to a defense contractor. Now realizes that both of the Harukis in her life are heroes because they stood up for what they believed in, just like she and Haruki number one have both been bullied a lot. Now ends the diary by saying that she is doing well and that Haruki has started working hard and seems very excited about this new beginning. They both don't want to die. At the end of the book, Ruth still doesn't know if Now is alive or where she might be. She also doesn't know how the diary and other things got into the lunchbox or how it got to her shore. Still, these things have taught Ruth that she needs to focus on the present and not let her past weigh her down. Ruth realizes that she and Oliver are happy living on the island, at least for now. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.